Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I'm gonna try to have 90 stars in the Sunset Sages. Normally, as I said on my previous video, I have all the heroes inside for that faction. I was just lacking some exclusives on Adeline, but now if you had a look to my stream of yesterday, I have three exclusives on Adeline because I decided to spend some and so we are gonna try to beat the stage 29 first and then the 30. Uh, this is the team I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my Nita, biggest damage dealer normally in my team but today we also have Mamelo and Adeline and so I'm curious to see how they do perform in this kind of content in comparison with Nida and I'm gonna use Guhana of course uh, she has the set of my Esther and so she is just a bit faster than the boss and she has a lot of healing effect the goal is gonna be to play before the boss and heal a lot my heroes and finally I'm gonna use an epic hero and that's gonna be cool too She's gonna help lower the attack of the boss, protect my heroes with a shield, give extra turns to my damage dealers, and uh, uh, that's gonna help me a lot. And also she can heal. So let's try with that. Uh, just have a look to, to the team, just to see if I have auras to parameter. Okay, that one on Guhana is interesting. It's not even five stars though. So just in case it doesn't work, I can still put something else in the team. So let's try that. Okay, so let's start the fight. Uh, so I'm gonna use uh, the turn meta increase for now. Uh, give an extra turn to my Guhana so she gets her cooldowns faster. Use an AoE attack and kill them all. Okay, second turn. I'm gonna increase the speed of my heroes. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the shield for now. Some AoE damage and then I want to kill Akmin first. And let's concentrate on, on her. Perfect, so I'm gonna have my cooldown for the next turn. So let's just kill the remaining units and boss wave so I can play before the boss so let's heal let's increase my turn meta so I can play before with some units at least let's protect my heroes yeah I'm taking a lot of damage though I'm not sure if I'm gonna survive that long lower the speed lower the attack of the boss at least for now I'm still alive though so let's use the ultimate. I'm not sure if I'm gonna survive long. Okay, so a bit more damage. Look at the damage of Mamelo. That's so powerful. Okay, let's apply an extra shield. Oh, that's not a big shield though. And heal and increase the 10 meter and the attack of my Anita. So she's gonna deal a bit more damage. Okay, so far I'm still alive and all, uh, almost killed the boss. Okay, one time. Okay, deep HP burn too. Some more poisons. A bit more damage. Uh, I think I'm gonna give the extra turn to my Mamelo. Or should I? No, on my Nita. So I'm gonna be able to put more poisons on the boss and so it's gonna reduce the damage I'm gonna take. I think this is important to do that. Increase my turn meter and attack. Deal some more damage. Yeah, this is so easy, dude. And the boss is almost dead already. But I'm gonna have to tank another ultimate though, and I'm not sure that my Mamelo can stay alive. Okay, he plays before, so normally the boss is dead, I think. Of course he is. 6 turns, 68 in total, 3 stars using that team. <laughs> That's so freaking strong. That's so strong. So let's try the last stage. Seems like I won't get angry during that video though. So, uh, I did that on a previous one. Uh, I'm gonna apply the shield. No, I, I wanted the extra turn to get the cooldown. Basic attack. 
uh, AOE damage. I'm gonna keep that for after, maybe the second wave. It's gonna be more useful. Or, you know, you know what? I'm gonna use that now. And uh, let's say I wanna kill, yeah, just a basic attack because I I'm gonna kill them all. I'm gonna kill them all. Wanna use that only. It's enough. Okay, second wave. Uh, lower the speed on that guy. I'm gonna apply the shield so I can tank a bit, deal some more damage, and kill again Okmin. Okay, he's not dead. I I'm dead. I am dead. Uh, I, I need more speed on my Nita, so I'm gonna be able to outspeed them and kill them. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So let's quit that, increase a bit the speed of my Nita, and let's retry. Okay, perfect. So now I have a bit more speed on my Nita. Uh, a bit less attack though. I have 4k less attack. I have a bit less mastery, 10% I think, and 20% less effect hit. But yeah, speed does matter here. Let's retry that. So I'm not going to use the ultimate. I won't need to. So I'm just going to concentrate on using my basic attacks and then I want to use... Should I use that skill now? No, I just want to use that. It's going to be enough. The HP burn. My Adeline is not fast enough. Yeah, she's lacking a bit of speed though. Let's retry and let's just do as the first time I tried. So do that extra turn to get my cooldowns. Uh, that, key, that skill. AoE attack. And another ultimate, or is it gonna be okay? Uh, I think it's not gonna be okay with only one poison, it's not gonna kill them. Okay, it was enough, so second wave. Uh, lower the speed and increase mine. I'm gonna apply the shield. Uh, should I use the ultimate? I think I should, because otherwise I'm not sure to kill them, and if they detonate my heroes, uh, I think I'm going to take too much damage at once. Let's try that just in case, but I'm not sure that it's going to work. And kill Eric. Uh, he is provoked. Uh, I, I'm just going to kill Anna first. Yeah, dead have to do something different. So I said, turn meta increase, basic attack, that skill, AOE damage, and I kill that one. He's not dead that time, so I took a bit more damage. That's okay, that's okay. So lower, lower the speed. I'm gonna put the shield. I'm gonna use that, you know what, let's let's do that. So I'm sure that they are gonna die. Uh, basic attack here. But maybe they are gonna die too fast. No, okay, she is still alive, so I get my cooldown back on my Guhana just in case. Okay, boss wave. Turn meta increase. A takedown. Okay, <laughs> now I'm gonna need some buffs or heals, otherwise I'm dead. Yeah, I'm not going to pass even the first turn. Have to retry again. Okay, boss wave again. Turn meta increase in some heals. Basic attack to lower the attack of the boss. And so I survived at that time. Basic attack. Ultimate. Speed up. But I'm not going to be able to tank the second attack, so it doesn't. it's not going to work. Yeah, of course, it's it's not working. So I have to, to replace my Kultum and use someone else instead. Or I'm going to have to have even a bit more speed on my Nita so she can play before the boss when I increase my turn meta. And so I'm going to be able to lower the damage of the boss with the poisons. Okay, so I have way more speed than before, 2270. I hope that it's going to be it's going to be okay. So let's retry that. And if it doesn't work, then... I'm gonna replace 
my Kultum by my Elbeck. With a high speed, if he plays before the boss, he's gonna protect my units and he is gonna be immune to death. So, boss wave. So let's retry that. Turn meta increase. Shield? No, attack down. I didn't proc and I don't have the ultimate. Of course, it's not gonna work. Same result, P worse than before. <laughs> that was worse than before. So of course, I am gonna need my L back, I think. Okay, so here is my Elbeck. Uh, I think I'm gonna add some more HP to him. Uh, I I'm just gonna use that one. It's only level uh, level zero, so it's giving a bit more HP. And uh, the goal, uh, I have the set of my Nordak, so he's gonna have a lot of HP and speed, but I, la I have less exclusive at all, so he has less HP, and uh, I'm using this aura, only one star, so he's gonna heal a bit my heroes normally. 13% healing effect, but he's gonna have a lot of HP during the fight. 2,500 speed, so less um, uh, less fast than the boss, slower than the boss, but uh, it's okay because my uh, my Guhana is gonna increase his turn meta. So let's retry that. Okay, boss wave. It's okay, I'm gonna be able to heal my heroes, so let's do that. Let's apply the protection. So I have a, sh a big shield and I have the immortal, it should be better than before and I have the ultimate so I can put some poisons on the boss. Speed down. Let's uh, heal a bit using the skill. Okay, still alive at least for now. So, first active skill. Now let's concentrate on dealing some extra damage to the boss. It's gonna be hard to survive though. Huge damage. It's gonna be fast. I just have to survive a bit of some turns. Heal. Basic attack. So he gets more HP also. More poison. So I'm gonna have to tank less damage. No, it's gonna be fine. Taking a lot of damage, but I'm pretty sure it should be fine. Speed down. More damage. Cool, my Elbeck can play. So I'm gonna heal my heroes a bit. Basic. Tank. Perfect. That's gonna be probably close. But I think that I can do it. Okay, shield again. The shield is getting better, stronger and, st and stronger all the time. Because ev for every crit he does, he gets more HP. And that's great. Okay, so ultimate, ultimate, yeah, that's great damage, speed down. I'm gonna have a lot of time to deal some damage before the ultimate because he is slowed down. Deep HP burning too, yeah, that's gonna be so easy using Elbeck instead of Kultum. I, I'm gonna have to tank another time the ultimate though. Basic attack. No, I know it's done. Six turns. That's so easy using that team. That was so easy. 71 turns in total using that. Elbeck is such a great unit to protect your team. Way more efficient than Kultum, but I wanted to use another kind of unit, an epic one, but apparently, yeah, it's not working. Otherwise, you are gonna need crazy stats if you want to do that. So, that's working pretty well. Pretty proud of that. 71 turns. Now let me check where I am here. Okay, 52 turns. Th but that's clear. I'm the number four. Yeah, he cleared that with no exclusive on her. Think I can do better if in the future I focus on my damage, the HP and mastery of both of them, Mamelo and Adeline. And attack and mastery on Nita. But I cleared it and I don't care about the ranks. I don't care about the ranks. So I really do hope that that video uh, helped you a lot. If you are curious to know, I can show you directly the stuff of my heroes. So this is my uh, Nita. So you have the stats, not that much attack and mastery for Nita on my account power. Uh, Echo using that one, so I have more poison uh, damage and mastery. Aura, she has a four stars advanced hit, so during the fight more attack and more effect hit. 
I'm using a mastery set and a first aid set. I have a bit of blessings, a bit more poison damage, and a bit more effect heat for the fight. Inter interesting mostly for PvP. You don't need that much effect heat for uh, PvE though. Emblems of Nita. Then this is my Mamelo. He has HP set, mastery set, a huge amount of HP and uh, an interesting amount of mastery and effect hit. A nice amount of speed, 2000 is really nice. Echo, using that one, level 11, so he has more HP. Aura, a blue one, 5 stars. Blessing, HP ones. Small ones though. I'm using that on him to get more HP. So he is more tanky and it helps in this kind of content. And then this is my Elbeck. So this is the gear that I have normally on my Nordak feed, double feeder set. 740k HP, I have 73% crit rate, it helps not to deal more damage but to stack uh, faster the, um, the, the, the thing, the buffs to get more HP. Echo, a bit more HP, I'm gonna lock it though. Aura, a recovery horn, Aura 1 star, but it's okay. It's gonna be even better if you have more healing effect on him or more HP though. Um, then, no blessing, and I'm using these emblems. Yeah, that's a, a crit damage set, but that's not the best one. Uh, that's interesting, but I, I would, yeah, maybe more HP could be great, so he would provide a, an even better shield. Because I played him as a support here. Then my Guhana. Double first 8 set. Uh, 2812 speed. The goal is to have more than the boss. Uh, 124 effect hit. You need some to lower the speed of the boss. And 80% uh, healing effect almost. I'm using this echo. It could be better. I could have used another one to increase higher my damage. A 5 star. Uh, that one 5 stars can be better. Aura. I'm using no aura on her. Blessing, only some more healing effect. Emblems, using that on her. Then, this is my Adeline, two mastery sets, almost 800k HP, 1881 speed. That's not enough for the, just enough for the waves, I think, or maybe a bit better, a bit more should be better. Uh, I think. 1915 you have to get more than that for the waves if you don't want to use the speed the speed buff or the turn meta increase 200% mastery 80% effect hit but i made some tests and apparently she is way better uh, when you have more hp than a big mastery and thank you the guy that told me to try that in my previous stream, that was really useful. I didn't really know because she is a recent hero and I never tried her that much in the past and so I tried her during my previous live and yeah, thank you so much for telling me it was better on her to have more HP or even uh, instead of mastery. Because normally if you take an Anhijin or a Hezenja, it's even always better to have more mastery but her kit is uh, specific and so... And so HP or better than mastery. So I'm using that one. Blue mastery aura and blessings. HP burning damage bonuses. Emblems. I have that. And if you are curious to know about my cool tomb. Yeah, I don't have the gear anymore equipped on her. I changed that to put it back to my... Uh, it was my popper. Uh, you need a high speed on her. A nice amount of HP so she can provide a stronger shield and some effect hit to put the attack down 20% more often. And in fact that was pretty all that I had on her. And if you want to know the emblems, that's all. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as well. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye bye.